but I mean, I did, uh, did a number of things. Yeah. Oh, good thing. With, uh, with uh, surveyor's tape and... Uh, oh, right, there's the surveyor. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what was the impetus for you and Paul and the Glenn for you guys to start Blue Hill Living Art Like, where did that come from? Well, at, well, at that stage, there was Western Front video in, and Pumps had been doing a lot of collaborations. You know, we were taking, uh, and we were sharing our audiences, we're sharing our, 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 our human resources, and we're sharing our space, we're doing a lot of collaboration. And, uh, and, uh, and out of that, we were able to you know, bring people in, um, show each other off in our own spaces, and kind of do a lot of cross-pollination, because each space was very distinct. I mean, ours was more community-based, you guys were much more international, performance and um, uh, art based and, and Pumps was uh, Street of Arts College from Emily Carr. So there was kind of a you know beginning, middle, and end. In fact, we were calling ourselves the Bermuda Triangle. I'm not on J12. <laughs> so there, was, there was a lot of other stuff going on between the centers too, besides just making arts. So there was a lot of you know cross pollination and stuff. Which is all part you know, part of it, right? There was a certain kind of freedom and I think that was the Really good plan was that we could, you know, three, you know, kind of based on the general yeah. idea, three heads are better than one, three centers are better than one, and um, just try to, to just try to make ourselves look bigger and better. How big a profile did that that show have in, in the city? Like you did at the Congo, right? It was at the Congo Ball, well, the rail. <laughs> what well, well, the um, the uh, cabaret? Uh, the cabaret, yeah. yeah. But the rest of it was a uh, different gallery. Oh, well, at our gallery, I guess. Yeah. No, we had the Fire Hall Theater. Yeah, that's right. Right? No, it, it, was, it was about getting it out of our spaces into other, at least that for me anyway. It's always been about getting it out of, you know, the gallery onto the street, into, you know, you know reclaim the theater spaces and, uh, you know, a huge cabaret. I mean, Ken Love did a piece on it on the street. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, we had the comedy. It was, I think, you know, we sold out 1,200 seats. So it sold out? Yeah. Wow. Wow. 